Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. This week we're looking at coffee, coffee arabica, um, but we're also going to have a quick review of how we were looking at copper prices, and we're going to look at the chart patterns and the fundamentals involved in both of those. Now, last week we posed the question, has the cut in the reserve ratio in China put a bottom in copper prices? Uh, so far, the answer is to the affirmative. If we have a quick look at the copper chart now, we can see the prices are breaking out, and they've, uh, they've overtaken the, the 270 level. And so this is a sort of confirmation of a, of a technical breakout, potential sort of double bottom pattern having taken place here. And, uh, and we could be on for a move up to, to 290. Let's, let's see how this plays out. Now, moving swiftly over to coffee Arabica. Uh, last week, we saw a massive breakdown in the coffee price. And so what we want to uh, see here is, well, is this, is this move down sustainable or is this potentially even a buying opportunity? Um, what's happened is that, if you remember, we talked in a, a good number of snapshot videos ago about uh, the drought in Brazil and how that was impacting uh, the production of coffee. Uh, there's been a slight change up whereby um, that drought was thought to have sort of followed through an effective production in 2015, but actually we're getting a good amount of rain over in Brazil. Uh, production looks, uh, the, crop, the crop production of, of coffee looks a lot stronger than others were expecting. And so what we've seen is a breakdown in the uh, 160 per pound in coffee uh, on the chart. And let's have a quick look at that now. So this is a daily candlestick chart for copper. And you can see it's really been this sort of 157 level that uh, we've seen this, this obvious breakdown where we saw a big bounce off it. And then we've got a couple of minor bounces where price just wasn't able to, to bounce as high as that previous peak and eventually just rolled over and, and broke down. And uh, you know we're a few days behind the curve here. But uh, if we do pull out to a weekly chart, we can see that it's not just a sort of short-term daily phenomenon here. This is actually a major long-term level uh, that's been in place over a year now, and coffee prices are at 12-month lows. So if we do take this, this longer-term range here, so the, the peak at 215 and this recent base at around uh, 160, 157-ish, and then we project the whole, the whole range according to this breakdown, we could actually get down to a dollar per pound in, in, in coffee um, with an interim sort of level of about a dollar 20 on that 61.8. Fibonacci, Fibonacci extension. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We were looking at coffee. The data to look out is just the crop reports on coffee, just to see if the, the rains over in Brazil are presiding over a bigger crop of coffee this year. Um, but we've also got to keep an eye on this, uh, this 160 level, see if that can hold. If so, we could be seeing further downside in, in coffee prices, and that obviously bodes well for all of us buying a, a coffee in the morning.